A new and scary twist on an old email scam has exploded. Now, the scammers are using artificial intelligence voices that actually mimic loved ones. Yeah, that is scary. It's yeah. an attempt to play on the heartstrings of unsuspecting victims who may believe a friend or a family member needs help. Our Tom Baker has the story. The latest internet monster, voice cloning, is already loose and running wild. You get a call on voicemail from a friend or relative saying they need money immediately because of an emergency that requires money. It sounds just like them, and so you send the money or your credit card number. You get a call saying I'm in jail or I'm stuck somewhere, and it really does sound like your loved one, but it could very well be a scammer. University of Michigan computer science engineer Professor Hafiz Malik is working on ways to hold the monster of deep fake voice cloning at bay. Technology is uh, moving at lightning pace, and this monster is uh, just like getting better, and they are getting more and more realistic every passing day. The mother load of pre-recorded voice and videos is found on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube, and many, many more. Voices are also often recorded at meetings and rallies, or simply talking to someone on the phone who's trying to sell you something, or asking survey questions is more than enough. And hacked phone voicemail is another source. Based on my understanding, I think current state is you need just a few seconds of someone's voice typing in the text, and you can put words in my mouth that I never utter, never say. Malik and other experts are creating, as we speak, systems to divulge deep fakes. But this is a high-tech game of cat and mouse. We are very close to the point where you could have a live telephone call with a bot and not know you're talking to a bot. Until there's a foolproof tech remedy to automatically detect this cloning, there is the potential for even the deepest evils imaginable. There's a lot you can do that's harmful with this kind of technology. You can get somebody very upset, an example being recording the voice of a, of a loved one who's passed on. And if the victims are highly susceptible to such manipulation, the victims can be ripped off to keep up these false conversations. So Tom joins us now. Tom, what can people do to protect themselves? Yeah, and do it right now, pre-plan have some code words that people that would likely do this, children, relatives, close friends, a code word that you both know that the bad guys don't know. And if you can't get that code word out of them, you know you've got some sort of a scam. It could also be a number or something that will help. Uh, another thing would be maybe the town residence of grandma or something like that. Any kind of question that's not easily available to people on the internet could be something that you could use to protect yourself. And if you question them closely enough, you'll find either they're real or they're not real. In most cases, you'll find in this situation, this old scam, that they're not real. Yeah, it's re it is really unsettling when you think about how intelligent AI tools can be. All right, Tom Baker reporting for us live in the newsroom. Tom, thank you. The transportation.